What's going guys, Arava here, welcome back to my F1 2016 career mode, episode number 12 today for season 2 at the Hockenheim Ring at the German Grand Prix. We go into this race with a little bit of a difference to the vehicle performance comparison because uh, the patch came in basically for the F1 game. The, the patch kind of changed some of the performances, it essentially changed the base game performances that you would get in a Grand Prix race and so it's changed the order. So now you can see Red Bull Racing are now the fastest team, we're in second place, Williams have overtaken Mercedes and now up to third place. Ferrari have fallen down the order to fifth now and you can see some of the lower teams have also changed round and basically it's only happened now at the German Grand Prix because if you don't follow me on Twitter basically you won't know that I'm actually pre-recording a few of these races so I'm actually a few races ahead of myself so I actually recorded this German Grand Prix probably about a week or so ago and that's when the patch came in obviously so it's only taken till now for the patch performance to kind of kick into my career mode so that's why everything's changed up a little bit without anyone doing any up upgrades or anything like that. So that's why Red Bull are now technically the fastest team, even though they haven't made an upgrade for the German Grand Prix. So we're back down to second fastest team, unfortunately. So that means we have to continue on as we do every single race, doing these practice programs to continue on developing the car, because although we've got the lead of the championship at the moment, by the way, if you haven't missed the last episode, do go check it out, because obviously, because I'm uploading these less, it is very important, guys, to me that if you do miss the previous episode, you do go check it out. It'll really help out, and also it gets you caught up a little bit. But obviously, uh, we are leading the championship in... Uh, uh, in, in, the, in the drivers. Constructors not yet. We're second place behind Mercedes. But we've got a rival of Lewis Hamilton. But uh, at the moment, you know, we're looking good. But we need to keep on developing. Uh, so that's why we keep on doing the practice programs. Even though we could technically maybe slack a little bit. But uh, anyway, we moved on to qualifying. A wet qualifying here today. Intermediate tyres. So it's been a while since we've uh, had a bit of a wet weekend. Because I believe it's going to start uh, raining for the start of the Grand Prix as well. So a bit of a difference. Because in Season 1, we've got nothing but wet. And now here in Season 2, I'm sort of saying... Surprisingly, oh, we've got a wet session here. So, anyway, you can see at the moment we're up on our delta time on our first lap. At the moment, we're down in 10th place with Stappen on pole position. Let's see where we're going to filter out to as we come through the last corner. A little bit of a slide there, opposite lock, but we come across the line and it's going to be third place for the German Grand Prix alongside Valtteri Bottas just ahead of Lewis Hamilton there. So Verstappen and Bottas on the front row, very surprising, but straight away very apparent that the Williams car has really benefited from this boost from the patch there with Bottas in second and Massa quite up the order as well. And the two Ferraris really, really not benefiting from the patch. They're down the order as well as my teammate unfortunately there, but good place for us to be. Third place just behind these two. Looking good for the race and I'm feeling good for it. Obviously we do quite well in the intermediate, so it should be a good race start. So let's go to the German Grand Grand Prix to the grid. Let's do this thing. So it was raining in qualifying and it's going to be raining in the race today, at least for the start. As you can see on the weather indicator, it is going to get dry and eventually uh, come out a bit sunny towards the end of the race. So hopefully we won't be going on three sets of intermediates, probably just one, I would say, looking at that indicator. It says it's already going to be starting to get cloudy uh, even before we make that first pit stop. So I'm guessing it might dry out just as we think about coming in for that second pit stop. And hopefully we can just switch on to a set of dry tyres by that point. But... You know, we'll try our best right now in, the, in these tricky conditions. It is going to be a bit tough. And we've seen, surprisingly, the Williams cars have been pretty decent in the wet. Obviously, we know the Red Bull is going to be pretty damn good because of its chassis and aero. But the Williams car on, on the game has been pretty damn nifty in the wet a few times. So we'll have to see how we go. But we go to five red lights for the German Grand Prix from third place on the grid. What can we do today? We're underway and it's a pretty okay start. Verstappen slowed down a little bit. Bottas got a great start. We moved to the right-hand side quite aggressively. 
aggressively as we lose the back end. But Bottas has made a great move into turn one, into first place he goes. We go side by side with Max Verstappen now. So can we try and get into second place? Some yellow flags right behind us. Hamilton's also getting in the mix. Ricardo also behind us as well. So Ricardo and Hamilton go side by side. I go side by side with Verstappen here. And Verstappen tries to squeeze us onto the curb a little bit, but it doesn't quite work. It's now Honda v Renault power down the straight. Let's see if we can pull ahead of Max. We'll just about do it, I think. And I think Max might have to tuck in behind for some slipstream as we do go into second place. But into the braking zone, you can see I've broken far too late. We narrowly miss Valtteri Bottas there. And Verstappen goes down the inside very easily. Hamilton has a bit of a look. But thankfully, we make it into uh, back into third place. But I uh, really got that brake zone wrong there. Got, got a bit too into the fact that I overtook Verstappen probably and got overexcited into the braking zone. Forgot to brake a little bit earlier, obviously, being in, into, into, into the immediate condition. So now we're going to have to try and re-overtake Verstappen. Perhaps we've moved on to lap three. So two laps later only, and we caught back up to Verstappen. Both me and Max have been catching Bottas kind of equally here. So kind of uh, promising here that the Williams car isn't getting away from us uh, after it's kind of a uh, new buffed uh, kind of improvement, I guess you could say, from the patch, obviously. Uh, talked about at the winning episode here goes max for the for the race lead down the inside of the hairpin he goes side by side with bottas we're going to try and tuck in nice and tight and try and overtake bottas maybe as he gets squeezed out he's going to get boxed in here effectively by me and max being kind of side by side at corners there and so bottas is going to probably get squeezed out here yes he does and we just get that through into second place and looks like he's actually lost the place to hamilton behind us so uh, unlucky valtteri but uh, we're into second so now it's verstappen for myself then hamilton and then i think it's bottas who hangs in there in fourth place. So now we can try and overtake one Max Verstappen once more as we move on to lap four through turn one. Hamilton still there behind us in third place in the mirrors there. So we're going to have to try and get a move on here and uh, not allow him to get into our slipstream because obviously the slipstream is quite powerful here on this game, even for the AI. So we're going to want to try and make this move as fast as we can. We get a bit of a different line to Verstappen here and that allows me to get a better exit, I feel, to be honest, into turn three and kind of off the, off the corner. And that gets us the drive here that you can see we've over taking Verstappen on the left hand side on the curbing a little bit but down to the hairpin this time we break nice and early kind of down the gears nice and slowly and you can see we've not mucked that up this time and we're into first place of the German Grand Prix so now Verstappen in second Hamilton still third and Bottas still fourth there and I think that's Massa close behind and then, and then two Ferraris which we've not seen too much of actually surprisingly the Ferraris have been sort of nowhere but here into the next corner we do lock up a little bit and we just about hang that through kind of slipping and sliding around kind of uh uh, drifting our way through the corners and just about keeping ahead of Verstappen. Conditions getting very, very tricky and we move all the way onto lap eight now. Four laps later, you can see it's a lot drier now. And it's actually time to think about coming in for the dry tyres. So uh, that's kind of why the car started to kind of lose the back end already on lap four and then constantly just from lap four to lap eight, it just got worse and worse. You can see there I had to cut across the curbing in the grass because I literally lost the car completely. And here, going into the pit lane, we almost don't make it in there. Again, slipping around. Looks like Hamilton's continued on so a few of these guys around us I don't think it's quite dry enough yet. It looks like most of the grids don't think so. But I guess that's why we're in the position we are in the championship because we've taken risks and we've made it you know, work when, when it counts. So this is another risk that we're taking here. Going maybe a little bit early onto the dry tyres. Soft tyres here. So midway, we could have gone super soft. But those don't go too long. So I wanted to go kind of halfway on the soft tyres. And so it looks like we'll filter out just behind a Force Indy there. We're going a little bit in the gravel, actually. Uh, so a little bit slippery there. And the Red Bull of uh, Ricardo. So Ricardo is down the order here. Got a bit of an issue. So I'm not too sure what went on. Unfortunately, I don't have a replay of what happened to Ricardo. So unfortunately, I can't show you what happened to him. But he's down the order there. But we move on later to the end of the lap. We're still behind Ricardo, actually, because the performance wasn't quite there against his intermediate tyres. We're through the final corner. I can feel the grip slowly coming to me and all the people are in the pit so it looks like it is the correct decision now for us to beat on these soft tyres and as we go into turn one you can see on the right hand side Lewis Hamilton is a Mercedes there so you are going to overtake him so it looks like we haven't lost any time there hitting one lap earlier onto these soft tyres thankfully but we go into the second last corner on the very same lap at the very end and Nasa holds us up a little bit going very slow on his intermediates we do a bit of Jim Carna across the final corner there on the curb and we just about keep ahead of Hamilton setting the fast lap of the Grand Prix and we are into first place now so we haven't lost any positions uh, you know by making that early pit stop so it's actually maybe gained us a little bit of kind of confidence on these tyres uh, you know compared to the AI cars but we move on to lap 12 now you can see Bottas has over taken Hamilton interesting enough so Bottas coming back in this race with a bit of force and Verstappen is down the order now probably in fourth place and here comes Bottas 
Bottas down the inside into the stadium section. What a move Bottas has made there. And he's up into first place. You can see now it's Bottas, myself, then Hamilton, Verstappen. We go side by side still with the Finn in this section. It's such a tight section to go side by side with him. And we're still making it through, still giving each other room. Fantastic stuff. Into the final corner. We let him go because we're actually going to get DRS by letting him go, letting him go first into this first corner because obviously we'll get the DRS point. He won't and we'll get the activation and there you go. We've opened the rear flap and we'll try and gain a bit of time but we'll actually keep it behind for now because then we can get DRS on the second part right here coming off this bend on the left-hander down this back straight. We'll get DRS again and we can try and overtake him there. We've set the far fastest first sector of the Grand Prix so far behind us. Vettel going fast. Hamilton also behind us going fast as he tries to dart around there in the mirrors and the proximity arrow but we just can't get the legs on Valtteri Bottas there. So the William, not too shabby in a straight line, even without DRS there, he's able to keep us at bay. So we're gonna have to settle down for second and try again, perhaps. We move on to lap 14, and you can see Bottas has got a bit of a gap to us, actually. We're falling back a little bit with the tire wear now on the soft tires. Remember, we've gone quite long from lap eight, this has been on these tires. And now Hamilton is really starting to uh, bother us behind us. He might go for a move here into the stadium section, just like Valtteri Bottas did. He goes down the inside, and Hamilton aggressively pushes us a little bit. We bang tires very, very harshly, and thankfully, no suspension broken there. But that was a very hard hit for both our tires. We go side by side with Lewis. This time, I don't give him the space. I probably gave Bottas, to be honest, because I'm not going to be as courteous to Hamilton as I was probably to Bottas. But he goes through anyway, pushes his way through, if through the final corner. He's up into second. We're down to third now. Verstappen now goes down the inside into turn one. He's up into third place. We do the switchback line, though, into turn one. And our Massa's behind us as well. We'll go side by side with Verstappen. There's been a tap. There's been contact. And we've had a huge collision there with the wall. And it looks like Massa's out of the Grand Prix. I've lost my front wing. We narrowly missed the mana there because I actually stupidly kind of spin it around. That was actually, actually probably a little bit stupid of me to spin it around there. But thankfully, no other contacts made. But what a huge crash from like 180 miles per hour straight into the wall D thankfully didn't lose our suspension but let's look at what happened there i don't even know what went on and how we spun so into turn one you go you can see this is where we do the switch back line to verstappen we went side by side with him i was ready to go down the inside of him into turn two but there massa is the one that causes the accident completely so as i'm looking towards turn two massa here comes through in slow-mo look at that what is he doing he just turns into my right left tire his, his kind of front wing little kind of vortex generator gets caught on my tire and spins us round. As we look on a nose cam, this will really get, you can really see where the contact's made. We pause it here, you can see clearly as we kind of budget along on the replay camera, you can see that's where the contact's made. My car starts to swerve left, I can't control it, we're going so fast that it, you're just unable to catch that sort of speed. And there is uh, Massa potentially out of the race, I'm not too sure, but at least without a front wing, I'm without a front wing as well. Here's a view from my teammate Jensen Button. So he probably narrowly missed this contact here. So Massa, there's the contact. Oh, he narrowly just comes through. Thankfully, he doesn't get any anywhere close to me and Massa. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Did you see that front wing flying there behind us? I think, that, I, think, I think that might be my front wing flying off there in the distance as we look behind from, uh, from Button. But thankfully, Button not caught up in that accident. I thought that could have been very, very easily him collected with me and Massa. So... Here we come into the pits now. We're uh, down the order, obviously, without a front wing. Thankfully, the safety car is out because of that accident, because of us and Massa. Um, so that probably suggests that Massa is out of the race, I think, if the safety car was called out. But obviously, there's also quite a lot of debris. But we're on to the medium tyres now. Our new front wing added on. Uh, so we've chosen the mediums because I really don't know now what's going to happen in this race. We're down the order, so we're going to have to try something a little bit different and maybe go a little bit longer into the Grand Prix on medium tyres. We come out behind... Raymond Grosjean in about 18th place I think this is so quite some way down the order I don't think I've ever been in this position uh, this entire season season two so a bit of a weird one and we have to try and do some overtaking now so we move on to the end of the safety car here a green flag or yellow flag should I say because it looks like there's a bit of a kerfuffle up ahead of us so we're going to have to try and see if we can make the move on Grosjean into turn two like I wanted to car going slowly it's Hamilton Hamilton's going slowly he's got an issue here in this Grand Prix we lock up nearly just in the back of him but we go around the outside we're up into 15th place so Hamilton is potentially got a huge issue there there's more yellow flags up ahead of us what's on the left there oh button and max verstappen have collided button and verstappen out of this grand prix one that's going on vettel's going slowly i've double locked up we've nearly hit the into the side of rosberg there who's down the order as well and as well as sebastian vettel what on earth has this grand prix turned into what a topsy-turvy one 
That has been in a, in a matter of a few corners. We've let Vettel through because I really did make that move quite un, quite unknowingly and quite un, unfairly, actually, because I double locked up. Could have nastily hit into the back of Rosberg there, so I let Vettel back through because I thought that was the fair thing to do. But let's, let, let, let's calm ourselves down here and take a look at a replay of what went on there. So we had Hamilton going slowly. We then had uh, Button and Verstappen out the Grand Prix. And then we had uh, Rosberg and Vettel going very slowly for some reason as well, down to the hairpin. So this was uh, Hamilton. We fast-forwarded a little bit into the replay so we can look right on the restart. So this is Hamilton. No issues here. Leading the way. He's going to restart, obviously. Green flag now. And oh, my God. How unlucky is that for the leader? He gets a puncher. The second he goes green and the second he puts the power down. So he gets a puncher. That also breaks a bit of Verstappen's front wing. So this is why Bottas now makes a move into turn two. Because Verstappen's got a lot of understeer from his broken front wing. They make contact there. Bottas and Verstappen make further contact there into turn two and three. So Button's now right behind Verstappen. And I'm guessing here this is where they tangle. Button going to the left and then he kind of shimmies round. Doesn't make it. And a huge impact for both of them. The wheel tether closes up uh, Button's right tyre right, right on him and then I think Verstappen lost both his tyres so this was the, the camera shot from his POV so Verstappen gets pushed wide by Bottas Bottas a little bit stupid to be honest not looking in his mirrors there but then here's, here's where Button comes in to kind of just kind of side swipes him straight into the wall and then there he breaks both his wheels off so what a crazy uh, bit of action there for the Grand Prix. And then I'm not too sure what Vettel and Rosberg were doing. We've got no replay of that because there really wasn't anything wrong with Vettel or Rosberg. Uh, they just were going very slowly into the hairpin for some reason. So you cut back to now onto lap 19. We've all kind of calmed down a little bit. We're into a P13 at the moment. Rosberg's going very slowly indeed as we go into turn one. He's in P22 apparently. So this is Rosberg getting lapped in this Grand Prix and we don't have any explanation for why he is down here. I looked back in the replay and he just somehow just pit an extra time and just didn't, you know, just didn't didn't kind of, he just kind of fell down the order. So I really am kind of very, very confused at why Rosberg's down there. But uh, nonetheless, that's huge for the Grand Prix, huge for the championship because basically most of the big contenders are out this Grand Prix. We only got Bottas, Ricardo, and Raikkonen left in the top kind of flight, uh, top kind of fight because you've got me and Vettel down here uh, fighting for what is seventh place as we overtake NASA. And you've got the likes of Rosberg down the order being lapped and Hamilton out this Grand Prix, I think, or down the order at least. And so now we move on to lap 23. Vettel makes a move down the inside for Ericsson. This will be for P4, I think this is. And then we're going to try and go down the inside of Ericsson as he gets squeezed out. We'll go round the outside, side by side with him on the exit of that corner. And we will get him even before the DRS comes. And now we'll open the rear flap and try and overtake the German in the Ferrari car here. And this will be for fourth place. Carlos Sainz at the moment doing a great job in third there in the Toro. So you can see we swing through. We cut later on to the very next lap. Bit of an overtaking montage this is as we now move straight on to the back of Carlos Sainz here. And we're going to try and overtake him. We should have it done because obviously the Toro Rosso, as you saw many, many times in this uh, season so far, has really fallen down the order. And there you go. Open DRS. Very, very easy move. And we're up into the podium positions now into third place. So Raikkonen looks like He's in second place, so I believe that leaves Valtteri Bottas in first place, leading this Grand Prix still. So after all of that crazy mayhem, Bottas is still there in first place from where he started into turn one on lap one. So, uh, yeah, I guess he's done a pretty good job so far. But now we're in P1 at the moment. That's because we've gone a little bit longer. We're now going to pit on lap 28. I can tell you already, the likes of Vettel, uh, the cars around us, the two Sabers, Toro Rossos, they've all pit already for their final stop. So I've gone a little bit longer. So they could potentially get an undercut here because I wasn't too sure. Uh, for a second, for a few laps, I was considering going to the end on these on those uh, set of uh, medium tyres. But then thinking about it a bit too much, I thought, nah, that's going to be the wrong wrong choice for us. So we're on to the super softs now. Going really hard now till the end of the Grand Prix. Looks like we have been undercut, unfortunately, by Sebastian Vettel. So we have left, left it a little bit too late there for that pit stop. But we should have extra pace compared to the German. So we should be able to come back at him. We have just about got ahead of Carlos Sainz there. So he hasn't made the undercut on us, thankfully. And here's Harry Anto up in what is uh, eighth place there. So doing the job right now, Harry Anto in the Manicar. So now we're up in eighth place. We're overtaken pretty damn easily. There's Vettel there done the undercar on us but we should have as I said superior pace over him because he's on the soft tyres Harry Anto behind us on the mediums and Sainz on the soft so it looks like we're the we're on the softest tyre compared to all the cars around us here so now we move on to lap 30 four laps to go in this Grand Prix purple first sector going well open the rear flap and this should be a pretty easy move you would say on the German the Ferrari being very very poor 
the entire of this season pretty much and we make that move go a little bit deep lock up on the right tire Vettel will come back at us though so it's not done yet Vettel's going to pop a fight here for what will be seven play so super soft v the softs we're going to go through on the right hander towards that mercedes grandstand we'll just about keep it down the inside of the german as we go into the next section we go side by side surely will be squeezed out yes he will and Vettel has to tuck in behind us because he's not got the natural racing line and so we're up into seventh place and now we're behind pasco verline who's doing a great job here in the manner up in what will be sixth but now it'll be seventh as we overtake him very very easily to be honest there he's on the medium tires anyway so you would expect that and just as i mentioned we will have the kind of tire advantage now because obviously magnuson ahead as well on the medium tire so a difference of two compounds really is going to make a stark difference here especially because my tires are definitely fresh and i'm guessing these guys have been going since the safety car came in so we're down the inside of magnuson into turn two he's going to keep it though down the inside so fair play to him round the outside we go side by side he squeezes us onto the curbing and he actually gets ahead, so now we're going to have to use the DRS to try and re-overtake him. The manner of Verline also going on the left-hand side. We dart to the right. Vettel's coming back at us as well, so we need to go three wide there. Four cars in the span of one second, pretty much. You could throw a blanket all over all over us. And now we're up into fifth place, though. Into the hairpin we go. And so now we'll chase after the second Renault of Palmer. So both Renaults doing really well in this German Grand Prix. They've really benefited from this crazy Grand Prix and the multiple, uh, multiple safety cars. So here we go behind our fellow countrymen, Palmer, opening the DRS, and we should get this move with two laps to go in this Grand Prix. Pretty easy move this will be. Honda Power versus the very down on power Renault in this season. Down to the hairpin, nice and easy, into the apex, and we're up into fourth place. You can see there's a huge gap, unfortunately, though, to third place man Kimi Raikkonen. And so it looks like we're going to have to sell for fourth place. I'm not too sure who's in second at this point, because I believe it was Bottas and Raikkonen before, uh, in early on the, earlier on in the Grand Prix. So someone's come out of nowhere to come and get second place, it looks like, because Valfrey Bottas has won the German Grand Prix, probably much deserved, because he was into first place by lap one, and he's just kept it calm and not gone to much issues, whereas, obviously, we spun out. You know, you had Hamilton, Vettel, Button, Verstappen. You can name all of them getting into issues there. So... It's Valtteri Bottas winning the German Grand Prix. Kimi Räikkönen comes home in third place. We'll come home in fourth. It's still not too sure who's in second place. I'm trying to think. It probably might be Ricardo. Yes, it is Ricardo. Ricardo coming back for a great comeback. Because remember, he was 18th place uh, by stint one, if you remember, when we, when we made our pit stop for the soft tyres. So good on Ricardo there to make an absolute stellar comeback. So I guess me and Ricardo both made quite a good one there. But obviously, Ricardo started all the way back anyway before he made his first pit stop. So probably a little bit better of a drive for Ricardo. But Bottas wins the Grand Prix. So uh, before the patch and now after the patch, it looks like definitely it is a fight pretty much between Williams, Red Bull, McLaren it looks like for the race wins basically which bodes very well for us because remember Mercedes were the strongest guys out of the blocks and that means now that we're going to get a really healthy lead in the championship because Mercedes keep blowing each other up basically they keep tripping over themselves having issues and with the likes of Red Bull Williams all kind of going for the race win it's not Mercedes it kind of plays into our hands because Williams and Red Bull did not get enough points at the earlier part of the season to really be a threat to so at the moment we're looking very good eight points behind Mercedes in the constructors so if me and Jensen can thankfully finish both of us in the top flight in the top points we'll hopefully overhaul the next race I just need uh, Jensen not to kind of crash into Verstappen or another car uh, hopefully but uh, before we round out the episode we're going to go to the upgrade so I was debating which one to go for we've only got the fuel and drag available I was debating maybe whether to wait a little bit longer to get more points but in the end I thought no let's go for the drag we'll get that extra bit of slipstream you know coming up to races like Spa, Italy down the order, you know, slipstream, low drag, that's going to be very important to us. So I've gone for that. So hopefully that will work out quite well for us. But guys, if you have enjoyed that absolute hectic Grand Prix, smash that like button. Let me know what you thought in the, in the comments below. That was an absolute crazy, crazy Grand Prix. So many crashes, so many unorthodox things. We crashed out as well, made a good comeback. So hope you guys did enjoy that. Hit that like button. Let me know what you thought. If you're around here, then do subscribe for weekly for more on content. I've been Araba. Hope you enjoy your day, and I'll see you guys next time.